So in the previous video, we learned about how to go ahead and fetch the data for a single category page. And as you can see, we've got all of the data that we need using GraphQL query. And we've got the products. We just have to loop through it and, and display it. So let's do that together. So we have got this category component, which actually displays the single, displays the single page for the category. We'll go over here and we're just going to first pull the category name, which is this. If you, by the way, if you haven't watched the previous video, I'll leave the, uh, leave the link for the playlist in the description box so you can check it. So I need to pull it from this props. And now we'll just loop through it. So first we're going to check if we have the category name available, then use the H three tag to display category name. Okay. And let's see if we get that. Awesome. We have all the clothing available. Great. Next up, we're going to use a div with the class name of product container inside of a row inside of sorry another class row which is using bootstrap and just check if not defined products so if products is not defined and sorry if product is not equal to undefined and products dot length which means the array has the items available then and only then loop through each item of the product otherwise return empty so let's say products dot map say product and then we already have the product component available because we use that on the index page we're just going to use that so just say product and it's going to want to need the data so first thing we already know that it requires us to pass the key because we're looping through an array in react Product dot ID, so because ID is unique. Uh, actually, it's available in products. Okay, we are in edges right now because remember we are in edges right now. So we need to go to node and then ID. Okay. So node and then ID. And next thing it wants is the product itself. So we can say product is equal to product dot node. Great. Let's see if it works. Cross your fingers. Awesome. Brilliant, guys. You can see all of these products are being displayed, which means that now we have a single page for our category and it's going to give me the name of the category. It's going to display all of the products that belong to it. And guess what? We already have the functionality for add to cart. How come? Well, that's because we use the feature of reusability with the React components. So we don't have to do this again. Okay, so I think uh, there's just two more things we need. We also need the name and the price because if you notice currently it's not displaying the name and the price. So we just need to ask for that information as well. So I can just put it here. I'll do that later. That's fine. Okay, let's try this. Do we get the name and the price? So, there you go. You have the name and the price as well. 
Okay, and now uh, you can go into any of the categories. Let's say I go to category page, and then I go to any of them, like clothing. I can add to cart, I can view cart, and there you go. So the best part is that your functionality is already built. You don't really need to reinvent the wheel. You know, it's, it's already done. Uh, so you can just use it whenever you want it. You already have your product uh, component ready. You have your categories ready. And if you want, you can now put this component into your main page as well because it will be nice to have a categories being displayed like I showed you in, at the beginning of the, one of the videos. So we can have that. Now I'm not going to go ahead and do that uh, on the video itself because it's, it's pretty simple. I'll just update my Git repository uh, by adding this component on the home page as well. You can check that out and uh, then you can have the categories uh, being displayed on top and then this page can be dedicated for categories only so probably you can show more categories over here like five or ten depending on what you need uh, like a catalog and on the home page you can just have two or three okay awesome so we have our categories page built we have a single categories page built which is displaying the name of the category um, and all of the products that are being displayed as well awesome great so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up um, do subscribe to my channel that tells me that you know you are connected to me and uh, you appreciate my work and uh, also uh, please follow me on github uh, and also you can give a star to my repository to support my work and this really helps me motivate to do more to help others and share the knowledge that I gain in the journey of a programmer awesome all right, guys, so see you in the next video, and uh, you can also go ahead and um, follow me here, and in the next video, we're going to discuss about authentication. I think this is going to be one of the the most thing that none of you have so far asked me about, but I know we're going to need this, right? Because we build the cart, but we're going to uh, go ahead and send the request uh, for there will be some protected queries that we will make uh, when creating orders probably um, or sending payments etc so for that we will need to set up authentication so we're going to create a login and registration and things like that in the upcoming videos so stay tuned um, and if you subscribe to my channel you will get notification about when i upload that video great take care goodbye